In this video, we're going to be using Sterling Iced Coffee and the Timeless Aluminum Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in. As mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Sterling iced coffee, and I'm looking forward to this because I've had this for a long time and I've never gotten around to using it. When I bought this, it was $10.95 for three ounces and on our cost chart there, that's a good price of $3.65 for ounce, per ounce, excuse me. This was one of their Black Friday or special type offerings that comes in a smaller size. I'm gonna put the scent notes for you on the screen right there. Black roasted coffee, hazelnut, and menthol, and that's exactly what it smells like. A nice nutty coffee, which is very nice. Scent strength right at that medium level, and you know we always get a great lather out of sterling. I'm gonna put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Pound for pound is just an excellent soap at an excellent price, and I look forward to using it today. The razor for today, is the Timeless Aluminum Razor. And this one is rather deceptive in its efficiency because the blade gap is only 0.45, but it is pretty efficient. So everybody's always going around talking about blade gap. That doesn't always tell the entire tale because this razor has a relatively low blade gap, but it's quite efficient. It's uh, sold for $75, but it comes with a stand made in the USA. Very nice razor, and we look forward to using this today with a Gillette Nasset blade. So without further ado, let's get into it here. We'll start by misting the face, and I hope you're all having a great day so far. And remember, I will link the products that are available below, and I don't think iced coffee is available right now. Uh, the brush for today is the Maritime Brush Co. brush, and let's stir this up a little bit. I didn't have a ton of product to work with because this was just a little sample that I put in a jar. And honestly, I didn't put enough in here to make high volume of lather, but we should have enough to, to execute a nice shave. I do believe really not that much is required when it comes down to it. As I've been saying a lot recently, we make more than is needed of lathering and how much lather you need. And you know, it's, you just need a thin, coating of slick goodness and then the rest is on you so i always say the protection like in terms of being protected but the protection comes from your hand and what's between your ears not from the soap however the soap does allow the razor a nice smooth platform to glide on so if you have a nice slick lather it will afford you some protection via the slickness of the lather but primarily the protection is you <laughs> so if you're getting a bad shave, don't blame the lather. I mean, maybe your lather could be better, but you know, work on your shaving technique. That's what it's all about. All right, let's uh, wet the razor here and then we'll get going again. This one has a, this razor has a relatively small blade gap, but it's pretty doggone efficient and it's nice and smooth, which I happen to like also. And it does a good job. It, it remains efficient while, you know, having that relatively small blade gap, which is why um, I'm a big fan of saying, just use the gear, give it a try and see what you think. Don't always focus on blade gap, blade exposure, this and that. Sometimes you'll be surprised um, because, you know, the way the razor is built, the geometry, the way the head is, a lot of different factors end up um, uh, determining what the level of efficiency is. It's just not blade gap and blade exposure. There are other elements in there. But the easiest thing to do is just simply use the gear and see what you think. Now, I know if you're looking to make a purchasing decision, you kind of want to get as many details as you can. But it, I'd say on this one, when people see that 0.5 uh, blade gap, they're like, oh, that's going to be too mild for me. And, you know me, I tend to prefer a little more efficiency. This razor is absolutely not too mild for me. So for whatever that's worth, it's a very nice shaver. Timeless makes very nice gear. Generally made here in the United States. Good people. 
and they make very nice razors. Now the soap here today, I'm definitely getting that coffee scent. Um, it is very, very nice. Sometimes you get a coffee scented soap and it doesn't really smell like coffee. That is not the case with this one. You really get the coffee and you get that nutty hazelnut vibe, which is, it's just perfect in my opinion. It's very good. A long time ago, I put some samples together to travel with and I'm still <laughs> going through them. So today I picked this one to use and it's been in, the, in that sample jar for months, just waiting on the, the time to use it. And today is the day <laughs> and it's great. Sterling again, excellent value, excellent product. And remember, as I mentioned on Real Talk the other night with David on So Sharp David's channel, companies like Sterling right now, you know, when the squeeze is on, companies like Sterling that's given you a very fair price, they're being squeezed more than the companies that are charging a king's ransom for their soap. So I encourage you to support these companies that are giving you a good value, especially right now, because they are uh, taking a hit and could use your support. So if you would be so kind as to support them, I would very much appreciate that because essentially Sterling makes less money per tub. They're choosing to do that for your benefit. Um, so they need that volume. So if you've been looking for something from Sterling, today is a good day to, to grab something, if you please. All right. First pass, excellent. The razor, excellent. The soap, excellent. No problem whatsoever there. And we will re mist our face for pass number two. And again, I didn't have a ton. I had this little sample jar and I had maybe, I don't know how much product, but it wasn't very much, but we got enough to make a lather out of it. And that's really what I was after. And it does smell great. The lather quality is very good. Of course, there's not enough lather to do the little slap there, but Plenty enough to execute an outstanding shave today, or at least we hope during this pass for it to complete uh, as an excellent shave. And again, most of it's on you folks. Most of it's on you. Over the years, we've all gotten very gear centric and we've kind of forgotten to talk about technique. Uh, and that's the single most important factor. Of course, a couple of years ago when the chief was around, he and I were going back and forth about technique and technique is the most important thing. Following that, the next important thing is a blade. You have to have a really good blade. Following that, then soap, and then brush, and so on. But technique and know-how and knowing what your face will put up with is number one, always. Because you'll get farther with that than any piece of gear will ever take you. And I can feel a little bit of cooling for the menthol, which is nice. Now, I don't smell the menthol. I just get that coffee nutty smell, but very nice. Very nice indeed. Boy, what a nice shave we're having so far today. Let's cut this back just a little bit there so we don't have to shave quite that far down. And again, I want to thank everybody for their kind words. I really appreciate that. It's really nice. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, I want to give a shout out to Vincent and the guys from GM. So Vincent, and the guys from GM. I am told that you watch the videos and it's so great to have you. Thank you guys. Shout out to you all. I hope you're having a great day and thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Jason from the Razor Company told me that uh, you all, or Vincent came in and he was talking about watching the videos and stuff. So thank you, Vincent. Shout out to you. I really appreciate that, so thanks so much. It's nice to hear stories like that, so thanks so much, Vincent. I appreciate you and the guys at GM up there in Michigan. All right. Very nice. Very nice razor here. Very nice indeed. Again, don't let the .45 blade gap fool you on this razor. It brings some very decent efficiency to the table, and in fact, I would say this razor is more efficient than some of the razors I have with the .45. 9.5 blade gap to be honest with you so the reason i keep mentioning that is because i know that people sometimes will judge products just based on those a couple of metrics and it's really not enough sometimes you just have to use something and i think this is one of those razors that you just have to try if you love aluminum razors uh, this is a very good one and again it does come with a stand in that price so that's really good 
the Henson, I believe, now has creeped up to, I don't know, somewhere close to this price, $69, $79, I'm not sure. And it does not come with a stand. Uh, I prefer this razor. I like the Henson, but I think this is a much better aluminum razor, to be honest with you. Um, much more efficient. It comes with a stand. I do like the Henson. Don't get me wrong. But this one brings a little more to the party, in my opinion. Even the aggressive Henson that I have, that they made, and I think they might be trying to make another one for shaving enthusiasts, which I think is awesome. Um, I, I think this one brings a little more than that even. So for whatever it's worth, I think the timeless aluminum razor doesn't get a lot of mentions, but it is a good, efficient, well-built razor. And it is deceptively efficient. Um, that is to say, if you think that if you're if you're really uh, if you're really fixated on that 0.5 blade gap, or 0.45, I believe it is blade gap. Let me look. Was it 0.45? Yeah. If you fixate on that, it will be more efficient than you're expecting. Let's put it that way. All right. Very nice. Very nice. The soap today was nice. The razor nice. It's great to have you all here. What could be better? Let's cut that back a little bit. Trim between there. And I believe we are good to go today. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. That was an excellent shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stain, so super smooth shave. No necks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Sterling Iced Coffee. When it comes back, check it out because I don't think it's in stock now. And also I would ask, support the companies that are taking care of you like Sterling and others who are giving you a very good value. They're being squeezed right now more than others, so we'd appreciate it if you would help them out. We also use today, the Timeless Aluminum Razor. Again, that 0.45 blade gap is very deceptive. This is a very, very good and efficient aluminum razor. I had an excellent shave today with it, with the Gillette Nasset blade. We used our Maritime Brush Co. brush and our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug, and we will finish it out again today with the Wet the Face the Quiet Man splash. And again, if you're wondering, the reason I'm using this splash over and over is just to get rid of it, because I'm brought splashes down here that I intended on using all the way up to get rid of them because I just have so many that you know I figured I would uh, try to use some up. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.